Indeed it does. This is the latest twist in the battle over the future of Twitter. The Washington Post reporting that Twitter's legal team issued a subpoena looking for information about a number of top Silicon Valley investors, big names, many of whom had not been known to have any connection to Musk's Twitter deal. They're requesting communications, including organizational calls, meetings notes, and recordings related to the deal's financing. Now, the names include Chamath Paul Hapatia, David Sachs, Steve Jurvetson, Mark Andreessen, Jason Kalkanis, and Keith Raboy, all of whom have appeared at some point on CNBC's air. Many of them are frequent guests on CNBC. We've reached out to all of those names that you're seeing right now. Andreessen Horowitz gave us a no comment, and we haven't heard back from the others. But another investor who was subpoenaed, Joe Lonsdale, he tweeted, quote, LOL, lawyers with Twitter are sending subpoenas to, the, to friends in the ecosystem around Elon Musk and P. Marka, that's Andreessen, uh, Mark Andreessen, and David Sachs et al., a giant harassing fishing expedition. I have nothing to do with this aside from a few snarky comments, but got a, quote, you are hereby commanded document notice. Now, the subpoena specifically looks for information about spam and bots, which, as we've discussed, Musk has been very much focused on, as well as for information about the All-In Summit that Paul Hapatia, Cal Canis, Sachs, and David Friedberg hosted in May, and Musk spoke there. Now, Cal Canis had launched a special purpose vehicle to raise money for the deal, the, the Twitter deal. So the question is whether Musk was encouraging people to invest at that summit. So we've got no word from Musk on the latest. We are watching to see if he tweets anything. And as for Twitter, we reached out to them about this report. They told us no comment. Guys.